SMT5 V, three of these masks done by a, a gentleman who has worked on Slipknot masks. It's a process to take one thing out of your imagination and your spirituality and actually make it tangible, actually make it work. And then somebody can get in here and even take it to further places than what it was designed for. I love movies, I love prosthetics, I love masks. So seeing them helps me remember what I love, the process, what it is, bringing it and making it tangible. That, that's an incredible thing. The first time that I saw Slipknot, I was trying to understand their identities, their characteristics, you know, try to understand each of the members and why they chose to use those specific masks. First of all, I don't like birds, so I'd have to get, I'd I have to take this guy out right away. I think anybody who's uh, listened to Slipknot over the years or, or seen them, there's an obvious darkness. We have the, the, the bad side, we have the demons inside us, we have the gods inside us. You just need to keep the balance, and that's what Slipknot talks about. Pretty scary, definitely a problem. This is the demon. Kind of looks like a gargoyle. Meets a wolf. Slipknot is like the, the chaos, the way that we see art, that we see music. And chaos has like everything to do with art. Some, sometimes you have to destroy what you have to create something new. He definitely gives that impression that he's, he's on your back. So he's cool. This mass is beautiful. I love this embroidery around the eyes. That's kind of a new thing. It's just strange, you know, like when you have this on, it gives you a chance to really be someone, you know, an ultra ego. I, I think it just reflects a great opportunity to be able to release the beast. Um, and it's a, it's a great experience. This is really cool. So it's really done really, really nice. I really like this mask a lot. Doing this now, my whole life, I realized that all it really did was help everyone bring out theirs. When you see a mask and that is something that I did, that I created, I'm like really exposed it right here. And then I came with the idea with the, the lines, the black lines, to bring a, a, the indigenous people from Brazil, from Latin America, from North America. That's from where I came from. I feel like it's an amplified version of me, but you know, perhaps if I was to step out and look at myself, I may notice a different persona. These things help bring out a certain sense of ourselves that maybe we're shy to bring out, maybe we're embarrassed. So who's wearing a mask? I don't know. And that should answer how important this is. This has been so important for me to live, to express, it's a gift. SMT5V comes out on June 14th.